Welcome back to this special holiday edition of the Plus Side of Nashville. Our friend Diane Dameron from Coach D Consulting has been busy in the kitchen just for us. Here she shows us how to make a colorful no-bake appetizer and a chocolate syrup you'll want to serve in and on everything. Hey Tawanda, so I've got a couple more recipes for you guys. Um, we have enjoyed those first two recipes um, and you can tell Stella is about partied out. Um, but we've got a couple more here for us to go with. And actually this isn't even a recipe, this is just putting a few things together. So what I've got here are my holiday skewers. And what I've got here are just some cherry tomatoes and I like to alternate basil and spinach. And here I've got some bocaccini, which you can find in your belly section. They're basically just little mini mozzarella balls and they are found, you can usually find them in a little tub packed in water. Um, you just want to dry them off a little bit. Um, and then again, just alternating spinach and basil. And then of course it's the holidays, so you have to have something a little special. So what I've got here is a, I bought a log of pepperoni at the deli section and just cut those into bite-sized pieces and added that in the middle for something a little cute and special and I just think these are super cute um, the little red white and green for the holidays and you can serve them on a cake platter like this and when you serve them what I like to do is drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and balsamic vinegar um, however if you don't want to drizzle you could certainly put these in a little dipping cup um, and have some extra virgin olive oil and vinegar um, on the side just to dip into but I just think these are super cute um, when you have it as an appetizer or even as a snack during the holidays I mean how festive and fun is this um, the next recipe now you cannot have the holidays without something sweet and my something sweet usually is chocolate so I'm going to show you how to make my chocolate syrup um, and it's homemade and just a couple of ingredients honestly and if you've ever had the Hershey's chocolate syrup from the bottle it is loaded with high fructose corn syrup so this is my homemade version and so what I've got here in this little mini saucepan is I've got three quarters of a cup of dark chocolate cocoa powder now I use the Hershey's dark cocoa powder. It is easily found in the grocery store now. And actually I'm finding it during the pandemic. I'm finding this easier than the regular Hershey's syrup, uh, cocoa powder. So, and then I've also got a pinch of salt and then a half a cup of sugar. And what I'm going to do is turn this onto a low, very low heat. And I'm going to go ahead and whisk these together, stir these together to kind of get it nice and mixed. And to it, I've got three quarters of a cup of just water. And I'm gonna add that in. Now, basically, this is the start of making candy, basically. And you're gonna think when you see this, you're gonna think maybe it's not gonna to come together, but this is something you do not want to walk away from because you're cooking sugar. And this is also something you don't want the kids around during this because hot sugar, nothing burns like hot sugar, let me tell you. So basically, you're gonna, and you definitely want a whisk. You wanna whisk for this and you want to whisk it all around and you're gonna think, like I said, you're gonna think it will never come together, but I promise you it will all start to melt down. And as it melts down, you'll eventually start to see some little, it'll start to boil, bubble just a little bit, but that's why you wanna keep it on a very low heat. And as it, boils the longer you cook this and let it boil a little bit the thicker it will become again basically you're like creating candy I like it thick I like it kind of like a thick fudge um, if you like it thin more of a syrupy um, you know pourable consistency you just cook it however long you want now once you get into the consistency that you like just keep in mind that once it cools down a little bit it will become thicker so just keep that in mind so once you we're gonna let that cook for a couple minutes I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off once you get the consistency that you want, you turn it off and then that's when you're gonna add your extract. You don't wanna cook your extract out. So what I've got here, and I think this is perfect for the holidays, is peppermint extract. Now this makes it for almost like a York peppermint patty or one of those after dinner chocolate mints. Um, I think it's delicious. Um, so you add just a teaspoon of this. It can be a little overpowering. So no more than definitely measure this. Now, if you don't want peppermint, you could certainly use just plain vanilla extract, or you could also use almond extract, which would be great. Um, again, just measure the almond because that can get overpowering as well. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like, the finished product. And again, I like mine very thick, but you can see here how thick, and that's just a couple of ingredients. How delicious is that? So what I'm gonna do is create a basically peppermint mocha. Now, anybody who's been to Starbucks or your coffee shops, this is all the rage right now. So what I've got here is a little bit of warm coffee that we have brewed this morning. And what I'm gonna to add to it is a little bit of warm milk. 
And now if you're serving this for the kiddos, um, you could certainly just use all warm milk um, to make kind of like a, a hot cocoa. And what I'm gonna do, you could add as much or as little as you want now. I'm gonna go for a big spoonful here. And you just dip that right in and shake that up and stir it up. And you have a delicious little peppermint mocha. Now, if you want to, you could get fancy and you could add a little bit of um, whipped cream if you want to on top and if you want if you have these little mints you could certainly shave some on top or maybe break some up um, and you'll you'll have a, a nice little holiday and if honestly if you wanted to add a little whiskey to this you probably could do that too so anyways i just think this is great this will keep in your refrigerator for a couple of weeks if you want um honestly it'll probably only keep in my fridge for a couple of days before it's gone so anyways i hope you guys enjoy this um have a very safe happy holidays and i hope you guys i can see you guys next year in the studio be well bye bye thanks diane I hope that we'll see you next year in the studio too. And thank you for a festive holiday recipes. All four of them look delicious. I also wanna thank Jane McLeod from Cheekwood for being here and thank you for watching. Happy holidays, everybody.